do it. All I'm going to say, and ask very nicely for the Philadelphia Eagles, I'll ask them immediately and say, do not do this. Please don't do this. Okay. Nathan Gary has been released by the 49ers. Okay. Been released by the 49ers. And... I really don't want the Eagles to go back to old habits, bringing players that are not working out here. Okay, this is not a Jim Schwartz defense anymore. This is a Jonathan Gannon defense. You're loaded at linebacker. I want to see what we have at that position. There is a lot of bodies. Eric Wilson, very underrated linebacker that I thought we did not, you know, I didn't think we were going to get. And then we finally got him and uh, came in for the Vikings on some injuries and really showed some good work there with his coverage skills and blitzing and against the run and doing everything great. You know, you got guys like Davion Taylor don't never really got a chance. Third round pick last year. Third round pick. Not never. He didn't get a chance to what? Week 10 of the season when injuries were piling up. He played some special teams and then he got some snaps and he was horrible. I can't blame him. TJ Edwards, a flash in the pan, never really given another chance. I, I love TJ Edwards a lot. Jannard Avery moving back to linebacker, which that, that was definitely a Jonathan Gann move. We tried, we trade for him in 2019, fourth round pick at the trade deadline, uh, you know, with the Browns. And we we change him into a defensive end, and now we're changing him back to linebacker. Alex Singleton, could he move back up in the depth chart? See him, you know, compete at the linebacker position. See what he could do. You know, I like all these guys at linebacker. I think we have a lot of players, a lot of unknowns, and obviously you have to blame Jim Schwartz for this. Nathan Gary didn't even make it the 49ers training camp. I mean, that's how that's how like this this shows like this tells you like how. You know, crazy <laughs> our developmental staff was with Doug Peterson. Like this, and, and this is how bad it was. And obviously, Howie Roseman for drafting him. Okay, Derek Barnett is pretty much the last survivor in that 2017 draft. Okay, this is a safety from Nebraska and Nathan Gary, which I thought going into 2019, I thought that he was finally transforming to that linebacker that we really needed. And, of course, you know, had a very up and down year, but saw some good things, you know, made the calls for the defense in 2019 because of injury. And then, you know, had some good plays, but we really saw more flaws than what we really wanted to see. The guy ran the wrong way. Okay. Um he cost us games. I mean, you take an outside receiver, they put him on the inside on Nathan Gary to cover him. You know, uh, that's it. He's beaten one move. That's all. So what I really want to just discuss here is, you know, uh, this cannot happen again. Like, we cannot go through this, hanging on to players every year. We hold on to players because they know the players, they know the offense or defense, and that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? Like, Nathan Gary should have not started games for us the past couple seasons. It shouldn't have happened. Jim Schwartz, Jim Schwartz only knows how to use their, his defensive linemen. He doesn't know how to use his corners. He doesn't know how to use his linebackers, his safety. He doesn't know how to use anybody. We were so fortunate to have Malcolm Jenkins pretty much bandage up this whole defense the past few years. Because you know what? Well, not a few years, but for a while. You know why? Because this is this is how lazy the Eagles do get when you kill, don't draft the right guys, and then you're not developing the right, you know, the talent. You're literally restructuring contracts, and you're bringing back players, and you're keeping Nathan Gary as a starter. Why? Veteran favoritism. That was the problem last year when we had the hot hand with certain players. When we hot, had that hot hand with certain players last year, we're like, okay, let's see him more. Veterans were coming back into the lineup off injury and obviously stinting the growth of a lot of these players. That's why at wide receiver, there's a lot of unknown. That's why at, you know, at linebacker, there's a lot of unknown because no one got a chance. Sean Bradley, Davion Taylor. I mean, you go down the list. A lot of these guys didn't have a chance, and this is because of Jim Schwartz, 100%. And obviously, not. And, and his job is obviously getting the defense prepared every week, but not putting in the right guys, like not using you know, what you have. Like you, Obviously, evaluation wasn't good. Obviously, last year we had no offseason, but I can't put that as to an excuse anymore. Like you had scrimmages at the link. Yeah, no preseason games. So what? Okay, but Nathan Gary, I, I I mean, this is a test for us. I want to see. They haven't brought back Jason Peters. They haven't brought back players. You know, this is a new era, uh, the, the young era in Philadelphia with these players. I can't wait. By next year, that 2017 roster is going to be dwindled down almost to nothing, probably. We're going to have some guys here, but 
you know, times are changing, guys, and I, this is a test for the Eagles. I want to see, like, if they put in a waiver claim for him, I'm not going to be – I'm really not going to be happy about it because you have so many bodies right now, and honestly, if you don't learn from what you just did the past few years with Nathan Gary, and, and honestly, these – Coaches watch a lot of tape, so Jonathan Gans will look at Nathan Gary's tape and be like, no, no thanks. So let me know what you guys think, obviously, with all this going on. Not saying he's going to come here, but obviously I saw this and I was like, oh, here we go. Here we go. So, I mean, I, I, this is a test for the Eagles. The Eagles better be changing their ways, and I think they are. I think they've done a good job so far. I have to respect that from Nick Sirianni. I have to respect that from this new coaching staff, so I'm happy about it. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys later. Shakes going up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.